Welcome back everyone! Following the Miami Heat being eliminated in the Eastern Conference Finals, many fans have been calling for them to trade Kyle Lowry. He primarily failed to live up to the expectations that they had for him, and although he was playing through an injury, it does not appear that they can win a championship with him as their third guy. Unfortunately for them though, it will not be easy for them to part with him. Due to his underwhelming year, and slowly but surely declining, they cannot hope to get anything great in return for him. Which puts them in a very similar boat compared to the Lakers, who as we know, have pretty much the same dilemma with Russell Westbrook. And that is all it took for fans to whip out the trade machine, as many are now calling for a trade involving Kyle Lowry and Russell Westbrook. However, would that trade even be possible? And then in addition to that, would it even be realistic? We will talk about exactly that in today's video. And to begin, there is a good reason for why I refer to this trade as reluctant in the video title, which is primarily because the Lakers have traded for Lowry at the 2021 trade deadline. And while I am not saying that they should have or should have not done that, for them to have denied that trade, only to then trade for him a year and a half later would be a pretty odd move to make. Not only that though, but it might be something that they are reluctant to even think about doing. With all of that being said though, would it even be possible for them to do? And believe it or not, yes, it actually would be. Although, I would not call it fairly likely to happen, and especially not within a two-team trade. The hypothetical trade that has been gaining traction would involve Westbrook, Kyle Lowry, and Duncan Robinson, with Westbrook along with a first-round draft pick going to Miami, and then Lowry and Robinson being dealt to the Lakers. Which, although does work financially, and may even in some ways appear to be a fair trade, we need to think about this one a bit deeper. For one, the Miami Heat are trying to win a championship, and although they likely do want to offload the contracts of Lowry and Robinson, I cannot imagine they have any interest in acquiring Westbrook. Not only would that arguably make them worse, but he simply would not fit their team either. They barely have enough floor spacing to begin with, and Westbrook would only add to that problem. In addition to that, I don't think there is any way you could make a backcourt duo of Westbrook and Jimmy Butler possibly work in today's NBA. They are each ball dominant players who do not shoot well from the 3 point line, and they both need the ball in their hands to be effective. It would pretty much be the same problem that the Lakers had with LeBron and Westbrook, only it would actually be worse. And I cannot imagine that Pat Riley and the Miami Heat want absolutely any part of that. And in reality, even though it would be a way to offload Westbrook, I wouldn't want any part of this if I were the Lakers either. It would be a horrible long term move for them to make, and it likely would not be a great short term move for them either, as I don't think it would help them win another championship. And because of that, I don't think either team would have interest here. However, even with all of that being said, I do think there's a way for Kyle Lowry and Westbrook to be involved in a trade together. But in order for that to happen, a third or maybe even a fourth team would have to help them do it. And not just any third or fourth team either, it would have to be one with available cap room, as they would have to take on the contract of either Kyle Lowry or Russell Westbrook. And believe it or not, I think there are actually a few of them that could potentially be interested, but the one that really stands out to me for this particular trade would have to be the Indiana Pacers. Which is really for a couple of different reasons. Not only do they have the available cap room to take on either Lowry or Westbrook, but they actually have a couple of players that both the Heat and Lakers could be interested in getting in return. And those two happen to be Buddy Heald and Malcolm Brogdon, both of whom have been mentioned in prior trade rumors not only to the Lakers, but even lightly to the Miami Heat as well. Then when you throw in the fact that they are both reportedly available, that could potentially make a three team trade like this one a possibility. Now do not get me wrong here, I am not saying that trade between them would be likely to happen, but I am saying that it's possible and could actually benefit each team involved too. This trade would involve Westbrook, Duncan Robinson, a first round pick from the Miami Heat, and a second round pick from the Lakers going to Indiana, Malcolm Brogdon being dealt to Miami, and then Kyle Lowry and Buddy Heald being traded to LA. 
And oh boy, we have a lot to unpack here. Beginning with why the Indiana Pacers might be interested in making this trade though. They would be taking on a bad contract in Duncan Robinson and a large expiring one in Westbrook, but then again, it's not like they're looking to use their cap room right now anyways. In addition to that, they would be heavily compensated with future draft picks. The Miami Heat would definitely have to give up a first round draft pick to offload both Lowry and Robinson, and then the Lakers would likely have to give up a second round pick or two as well. Along with that, they themselves would get to offload a couple of contracts too, with Brogdon being taken in by the Heat, and then Buddy Heald being taken in by the Lakers, both of which would once again benefit them. However, they would not be the only ones getting better here, as both the Heat and Lakers would arguably be getting better here as well. For the Miami Heat, they would be getting an upgrade, an overall better fitting point guard for their team in Malcolm Brogdon, who would not only fit their team better, but he would overall fit their timeline better too, which in my opinion, should really be a big deal for them. They have both Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo under contract for 3 more years, and with Kyle Lowry already in obvious decline, they need a younger and better fitting point guard to help them compete. And Malcolm Brogdon could be that for them, he would theoretically fit perfectly with them on offense, and would be a big upgrade for them on defense too. Now I know that Pat Riley is their team president, and will not make a deal unless he deems it as undeniably beneficial for them, but I really believe this one could meet his criterion. Finally, for the Lakers, they may be the ones ending up with the contract of Kyle Lowry, but then again, they are finding a way to get rid of Westbrook and without having to give up a first round draft pick to do it. Which in my opinion, is an automatic win for them, and especially when both players they are getting in return here are good fits for their team. No, Kyle Lowry may not be in his prime anymore, and Buddy Heald is obviously overpaid, but at the very least, they are much better fits than they could ever hope for Westbrook to be. And that should be enough for them to be willing to make this trade. It definitely does not guarantee them a championship, but it at least would give them a realistic opportunity to compete for one. Then throw in the fact that every team involved in the trade would benefit by making it, and I think you can at least make an argument for this being a good, realistic, potential 3 team trade. Now again, I'm not saying that's even remotely likely to happen, but I do think it's far more likely to happen compared to the aforementioned 2 team trade. With all of that being said though, that will conclude my thoughts on a potential trade involving Kyle Lowry and Russell Westbrook, and what do you guys think? Could you picture a trade like this one happening? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.